Um, yeah, and it's, I know it's been a, a long time. Um, it's about 10 o'clock there. It's about 6 a.m. over here. So yeah. uh, better late than... Up, up early. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I've been trying to get this. SP has been working, trying to help me get this organized. So I had to go to bed early and wake up early just to make sure we can get this done. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it, on, the mistake I did is I, I let people know that I was going to interview a couple of months ago. And I got inundated with questions and I said, I can't do all that stuff. But <laughs> one of the things about our show, because we're, I'm in here in the UK, but we've got people from Australia, Japan, Africa who watch. Mm -hmm. So we always like to go to the beginning as to where you were born and raised. Uh, Hampton, Virginia. Okay. Me and Devante are both born in Hampton, Virginia. So, yeah, a lot of people from North Carolina, but we was raised in North Carolina, but born in Virginia. You see that? Because I, I actually thought you were from North Carolina, but okay, yeah. okay, Virginia. And um, but when you when did you move to North Carolina? Were, were you still kids or when you were teenagers? Uh, we, were, we were young, we we're kids. We we're uh, I want to say about four or five years old. Okay. Yeah, so it was pretty pretty early in life. I think a lot of I moved to the states in '92, and and one one of the things I noticed about North Carolina was that Duke and North Carolina and a lot of basketball. The, were you ever influenced by basketball as a kid? Right. Uh, well, I mean, I, 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 I love to play basketball, man. So, you know, Michael Jordan is a home <laughs> hero. So, you know, so, yeah, I love basketball, man. You know, I play basketball a lot. So, oh, yeah. It wasn't anything that you thought you'd, you'd do as a career or anything when you were young? I, I thought I was going to be an athlete. That's what I thought I was going to be in life. Uh, uh, I was the first young black quarterback in Pop, Pop Warner football in North Carolina, and uh, my parents found out that I joined a the team that made me quit. What? So I, I was heartbroken about that, yeah. Oh, how come? Well, I mean, they, they you know, uh, we were traveling with my dad, and, you know, they wanted us to pursue music, you know, with gospel music rather than, uh, you know, I just want to do other things. We, you know, my whole family's music oriented, so it's like I wanted to just play sports, and I was, you know, infatuated with the Dallas Cowboys, Tony Dorsett, and all the running backs back in the day, so I wanted to play football. Wow. But, my family, well, my mom wouldn't have me. She said, nope. Oh, so it wasn't about getting hurt. It was more so we want you to sing. Uh, well, I mean, I think it was a combination of both, you know, and just stay in church and just pursue the, the whole church thing. But, you know, I had other plans for my life. <laughs> yeah. No, no, when you talk about music, because I, I guess that's interesting, because, you know, I've interviewed a lot of artists and, and a lot of them, you know, they learned how to sing in church and they, and they were singing for the fun of it on a Sunday and they didn't realize, they didn't think about a career, but you're saying that your parents wanted you to have a career in music from a very early age? No, 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 no. I, I'm saying that my parents, they, they wanted us to focus, focus on church. It just happened that music was our involvement mostly in the church because, you know, we played we play for my dad, we played for uh, Jim Baker's daughter who was Tammy Sue Baker the, at the time, so they much rather us be around the church and, you know, playing and, and singing in the church, so, you know, they never never envisioned, I mean, envisioned us going to R&B music, you know, that was just, you know, Devante's thing, and we always loved R&B music, we used to sneak and listen to it, but that was, that wasn't, you know, their dreams for us, you know, so, uh -huh. just kind of the path of what they thought we were going to be. Who were you influenced by music, musically when you were kids then, when you said you'd listen to R&B, who were you, who do you listen to and be inspired um, by? We, we infused R&B with like a lot of everything else, like, you know, we had on R&B, we had Commission, the Winans, Rance Allen, you know, DJ Rogers when he did gospel, who had a little bit of R&B. So then, you know, we went to the Michael Jackson, to the Journey, to the Chicago, wow. you know, the Rock Prince, and then, you know, the Marvin Gaye, James Brown, and we just kind of infused all that together, you know. So, you know, that, that was like the birth of Jodeci, really. And people don't really understand, like, our music was heavily influenced by a lot of other genres of music. It wasn't just R&B, you know, yeah. so... So uh, that's basically where the Jodeci sound came from. You know, we just infused a lot of things that we like and listen yeah. to. But for you personally, um, what? Because it was interesting the fact that you you were into the sports and there was a sense of from the family, let's stay in the music. What were you? I mean, as I said, being the younger brother, what was it that you thought about? You wanted to do if when you couldn't do the sports. Well, I mean, I, I kind of left home. I was like, you know what, <laughs> I'm done, man. I gotta. I left home at a young age because I was kind of frustrated because I really wanted to play sports because, you know, I, I thought that, you know, music was something that came natural to my whole family. And yeah. I wanted to do something challenging to me. And I think that being that I wasn't from a sports, you know, 
talented family. I, I just wanted to do something that challenged, challenged me, you know, because I like physical. And, uh, you know, so I, I wanted to play sports, something that was going to challenge me. I feel like, you know, God gave me a gift that was given to me, and I, I, I appreciated it. But I want to try something that I wanted to just do that was not natural to me. And, and I think sports, and then I was very active. You know, I rode motorcycles at a young age. I rode BMX wow. bikes. I mean, I got to everything. So, you know, but but uh, music was the thing that panned out the best for me and all of us, you know. Yeah. Did, 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 because you said you left home early. Did did you, did you go with your brother and, and say, let's just try and pursue our music? Or did you just go your own way and... and... Yeah, I mean, I went my own way. Like, you know, because when Jodeci first started, I wasn't a part of Jodeci. You know, oh. I was I wasn't a part of Jodeci. I, I really got in a group when we left, when they left to go on a trip to New York. You know, it was like, man, it's coming, you know, just... Coming to New York, I mean, I was around the group and we was together all the time. But I just, I really wasn't, you know, I, I, I always want to be a solo artist. I want to be Bobby Brown. So I said, if I'm going to do music, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, Bobby Brown was everything I wanted to be as, as an artist. And uh, and I used to put on little shows for all my little girlfriends. I put on the derby hat, the you know, the hammer pants and the patent leather shoes with the gold toes. And I was Bobby Brown for all my little girlfriends. You know, I, put, I had my two little dancers and I get my little shows. Oh, I get my little shows around Charlotte. But, you know, uh, I was always with Devontae Casey and JoJo, you know what I'm saying? But I always felt like I was on my own mission, my own path. And then, uh, you know, when the group came together, we just took that ride in New York. And I was like, you know what? I might as well just be a part of this group, you know? So we worked on songs and everything before I was actually in the group, too. But I was just never really, like, into the group. So that's why you had JoJo, JoJo Devontae, KC. So, you know, so that's the part of that. You know, I didn't realize that. But, you know, what is... And I think that's why, and we'll talk about your new your singles and your solo career, but I think it makes sense for us on the scene you as a solo artist now, because for those of us who were big fans of Jodeci, um, you know, we always knew Jojo and Casey being the lead singers and, and yourself mm -hmm. and Devante doing the music. But the fact that you did say that you actually were solo and, and now we can see, we see the evidence of that now. You know, I, I too, as a kid, you know, Bobby Brown with Heart and Soul, you know, they, he, he was, he my was. Own heart, the... <laughs> my own heart. So, yeah. Wow. But, uh, you know, but, but being, you know, once, once uh, Jodeci was formed, we all committed. I didn't even think about the solo thing. I was like, I'm, I'm uh, 200%, a thousand percent committed to Jodeci. So everything I did. I didn't even focus on doing nothing solo. I just wanted to just give my all to Jodeci and, and you know, learn and, and, and grow and bring my talents to what I had to, to Jodeci and, and infuse what I thought, like, as far as our style, our swag and everything. I wanted to bring that to Jodeci, everything I thought for myself. I, I just, on top of Devontae's vision, I just wanted to, you know, create everything that I that I had as an individual to, you know, our style and some of our sound and a lot of our harmonies and everything. I just want to infuse that and give everything to Jodeci. So I was... I didn't even think about the solo thing. I was, you know, committed to Jodeci and everything that we were we were pursuing at the time, you know. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview. Loads to come, but thanks a lot for watching.